What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Noman and today's analysis video is going to be about Liverpool versus Bayern Munich. So Liverpool lined up in a 4-3-3 formation but they mostly shifted to 4-2-3-1 with possession. Firmino often dropped back and played at the number 10 spot and made the formation 4-2-3-1. While Bayern on the other hand also lined up in a 4-3-3 formation but they mostly shifted to 4-1-4-1 without possession. Javi Martinez played in between the lines and he tried to block Firmino. We all know that Liverpool is one of the best in Europe when it comes to pressing. I made a video a few months ago in which I explained the two styles of pressing that Liverpool normally use. The link to that video is in the description. Liverpool in this game mostly used a mix of aggressive and positional pressing which they very frequently use this season. The focus of positional pressing is to block the passing lanes and stop the opposition's build-up from the back. So what is positional pressing? Well, in positional pressing, both Salah and Mane, they become the positional diagonals between the centre-back and the full-back, while Firmino tries to press the goalkeeper and at the same time, he also tries to provide cover shadow to the opposition DM. The two midfielders cover the opposing two midfielders, while Henderson is the free man to cover any space in case of a quick transition. Salah and Mane the two positional diagonals, restricting the passing options of the centre-backs. Firmino pressing the goalkeeper and at the same time he is also providing cover shadow to Martinez. Positional press to limit the passing options and then quick aggressive press to put the man in possession under pressure. A combination of positional and aggressive press and Byron nearly escape. Firmino in this game was used as a false nine. He often dropped back and pulled the Bayern centre-backs out to disturb their defensive line. Firmino drops deep and he pulls Hummels out to create space for Wijnaldum's run. Hummels was taken out by Firmino and now Alaba is left in 1v2 position with runners on both sides. Again, same exact situation, Firmino drops deep and he again pulls Hummels out and Wijnaldum is making the run at the back. Kimmich won the header, but look again, the gap was wide open for Wijnaldum's run as Hummels was taken out by Firmino. Byron were often able to cover these gaps, but there were times when Hummels' deeper position did leave them exposed. Again, Firmino drops deep to receive the ball and Hummels follows him, and Byron are now in trouble. Hummels taken out and Liverpool now have 3v3 at the back, with others also joining in. Two Liverpool players are not totally free at the far post, but Robertson's cross was very poor as the ball went straight out of play. Since Firmino was constantly disturbing Byron's defence, so Byron shifted their formation to a 4-1-4-1 shape. Javi Martinez played right in front of the defence, which meant that whenever Firmino dropped back, he was marked by Martinez, and that way Hummels could stay in his line. Byron in a 4-1-4-1 shape, and Martinez is covering Firmino in between the lines. This has helped Hummels to stay back and keep the defensive shape intact. Both teams showcased some excellent defensive work in this game. Both Liverpool wingers Mane and Salah worked really hard to track back and help their team defensively. Very compact defensive shape of 4-4-2. Byron have wingers on both sides who are really good at 1v1 take-ons. Since Liverpool's wingers were tracking back to provide cover to their fullbacks, so Byron's wingers were not getting any clear 1v1 chances. In order to help their wingers get in 1v1 positions, Byron often tried to play long passes from the back to their wingers as soon as they won possession. Long pass from the back to Gnabry and before Liverpool's wingers could track back, Gnabry now has the chance to get in 1v1 position against Robertson. Thiago to Gnabry and now Gnabry is in 1v1 position against Andy Robertson. 1v1 Gnabry easily takes out Robertson and delivers a very dangerous cross inside the 6-yard space, but Ellison makes a good save. Robertson has been very solid for Liverpool this season and he is very good in 1v1 situations. But I haven't seen someone run past Robertson with that much ease as Gnabry did yesterday, time and time again. Again, Byron using the same pattern, long pass from the back to Gnabry. Same exact pattern and again. Gnabry is now in 1v1 situation against Robertson. Again, 1v1, Robertson backs off and Gnabry delivers a very deadly cross inside the box. 
Both the teams displayed some very good defensive organizations and Kimmich especially was one of the best. I talked about Marcos Alonso yesterday and how he was unable to defend 1v2 situation against Manchester United. Rashford run forced Alonso in and allows Herrera to make a free run at the far post. Alonso forced in by Rashford and Alonso never checks his shoulder to see Herrera's run and Herrera scores an easy goal. Same exact situation, Kimmich forced in by Firmino allowing Mane to make a free run at the far post. But Kimmich checks his shoulder, sees Mane's run and quickly gets back to cover the far post. Checking your shoulder constantly is the only way of covering blindside runs. Mane has possession and Robertson is making the overlapping run. Watch the position of Kimmich. He can see Robertson making the run but he's not moving out just yet. He stays close to Sula to block the passing lane. If Kimmich moves out, then he will leave the space open for Mane to slide a pass for Firmino's run. They both stay close and then both commit at once. Sula moves to tackle Mane and Kimmich moves out to cover Robertson. And they easily dealt with a very dangerous situation. Liverpool win a coin the game. Overall, both the teams neutralized each other very effectively with great defensive work. So what is your prediction for the second leg? Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.